Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to get started using Gemini COI. It just got released yesterday and I'm going to show you the two ways that we can use it. One from the terminal, you can just uh, code from the terminal and the other one using VS Code. Okay, uh, You can see this is the page, the blog page. I'm going to leave this link on the description below and you can go and read it. But this is completely for free. So uh, if you if you're familiar with Cloud Code, Cloud Code is awesome, but you, you gotta pay for you know it's a subscription, and this is exactly the same using Gemini 2.5 Pro, but it's completely for free. Okay, and here you can see the credits that you have. You have 60 requests per minute or a thousand per day. Okay, open source, free. And uh, I'm gonna show you like how you can use uh, into VS Code, okay? I'm gonna also uh, show you how you can uh, active the agent mode for VS Code, okay? Then it's gonna work just like uh, if you're familiar with Klein or uh, Real Code, it's gonna work exactly the same, okay? So go down the page here. First, to get started, you're gonna see down below here, start it by installing Gemini COI. So click on it, it's gonna open the GitHub repository. So just go down, you're going to see this is what it looks like, okay, just like Cloud Code. And then if you go down, you're going to see right here, Quick Start, all right? So then first, make sure you have Node.js uh, installed, ver version 18 or higher on your computer. If you're not, just click on this link and install. So the next step, you're going to you're gonna run this command. So it has two commands here, okay? Uh, the first command npx. So this is not going to install the package on your system. Okay, this is just going to create a temporary folder where you can run the packages, and you can use the Gemini COI. But this is not going to install anything on your system. Okay, just for you know. But you, if you're just checking, you can just run this one. And if you want to install on your system, you can use the second command here. And it has two ways you can install it. You can install globally, just the way it is right here with the dash g. Or you can install locally on a folder. Okay, if you choose to install locally on a folder, go create a folder. Make sure you're inside the folder, and then you're gonna do npm install, remove the dash g, and you do at google slash gemini dash coi. Okay, so just remove the dash g, and then it's gonna be locally on a folder. Otherwise, you can just install globally. Okay, just the way it is right here. So let me show you how this would look like. Okay, so let's copy this one and hop on the terminal paste and run it okay it might take a second but there it is Gemini COI okay and uh, you can see it looks just like cloud code so you you probably if you're first just starting you might land on something like this it's gonna ask you to log in so you can use your Google account to log in or if you want prefer to use your Gemini uh, API key that's up to you and then after that you might see something like this for to set up your your colors, okay, your team color. So you can pick the one that looks best for you. Okay, I like this one. Okay, but you can do slash help and you can see everything that's available for you. But uh, this is the way you do on a terminal, okay? My recommendation is instead of using is straight up the terminal, uh, open like a cursor, okay? If you, if you have a cursor, Go on the cursor, let's get this. So let's jump on cursor really quick. So go on the cursor, open a new terminal, and then just paste the same command, okay? Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna be running Gemini COI on terminal inside cursor, okay? So the good thing about this, now you have two agents, okay? You have two agents that you can work together. You can have one here to plan your project and the other one to execute. And you can use the chat, instead of use the agent, you can just use ask, as a chat and then you can ask whatever you want and also you have the plan you can execute on your Gemini uh, 2.5 and you can have two agents work on the same project okay so this is an option as well but the, let me show you my uh, my favorite one uh, let me just close this so now let's go to uh, VS Code uh, I'm going to show you how you can install the Gemini code assistant here and the code assistant is exactly the same as Gemini uh, COI. So they share the same technology, so exactly the same thing, okay? And the usage exactly the same, and also for free. So you're gonna click here is extension, okay? So click here in extensions, and you're gonna type in Gemini code, and then it's gonna pop it up, 
code assistant and then from Google install okay I already installed it already using so install that and then you can close this you can close this and then click here on the right side you're gonna see hello Tiago how can Gemini help okay so now one thing here you can see here in the bottom okay so this option if we just install it doesn't show up this option okay you need to activate this okay we need to add a line of code to be able to see this option once you see that and then you can just activate okay now agent mode is on okay but to like I said to see this option we need to do a couple things okay so first go back to the website okay you see here now you're gonna uh, click over here you say insider channel okay so click on it and then it's gonna open this page okay and you see here this Gemini update channel so copy this and then go back to VS code and then you're gonna do command shift B and you're gonna click here preference open user settings JSON okay click on it so this is gonna be your preference okay so you see here I already added but you need to add this line okay this whole line here okay so just add it and then you save and then you need to uh, get out of here and you need to restart uh, VS code okay and you're gonna ask, ask to uh, reload so you reload VS code uh, and then once you comes back you're gonna see this option and then you can toggle okay now agent mode is on so anyway these are the options that you can get started with Gemini COI so if you have any questions just drop a comment below and if you want to see any more content like this don't forget to like subscribe thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time thank you